Morning guys. Okay, today we are talking about a very, very interesting species. Um, Brachycentron canadum. So I know all you guys know what that means. Uh, so I won't even do the common name. No, I'm just joking. We are talking about the prodigal son, otherwise known as the cobia. They are a sort of a chocolatey brown fish. One of the only chocolate brown colored fish you're going to find across other than some of the smaller little reef fish little damsels. Um, they are sort of tubular in shape. They got a very, very hard head uh, section and they're a bit flattened on the top, large mouth, small eye for their size. Um, they, they are visual predators. They, you would expect them to have a slightly bigger eye than they do, but yeah. They, yeah, as we said, brown, white stripes long thing and a nice creamy white stomach. Actually, very, very beautiful fish. Now, Brachycentron, the, the genus name, talks is, is a reference to the spines that they have. The, the spines are separate from their dorsal fin. So you get the dorsal fin along the top of the fish, and then you get these very sharp spines that sit in front of it, separated from, from the dorsal itself. And they, uh, they're very, very sharp, and they do have a little a mucus covering on them, which, which I'm not too sure if it is toxic, but if you do get it into your hand, it is gonna sting and it is gonna hurt a bit. So be very careful of that. Um, other than that, handling wise, they're very easy to handle. Nice big paddle tail, you can grab them around there. Um, and yeah, land them quite easily. They are fish that is very easily confused with sharks when you when you do catch them, because they look in shape very similar to like a small grey shark or something like that. When they are on the surf and you're reeling them in and you see them swimming in the wave like that, it looks very very much like a shark. In terms of sizes, they get two over two meters. Um, so, I mean that's that's a giant fish. Two meters, you're looking at about. 60 70 kilos of, of prodigal sun so that's that's a very big predatory fish um, most of them that we get on our coast a big boy is going to be 20 kilos uh, but most of them are going to be from that sort of five kilo range and upwards very very rare fish to catch they are very difficult to target you can't actually i'm not sure if there's anywhere specifically targeting a prodigal sun on our coast you do get them up in America and in Oman and places like that, the guys have sort of figured out a way of targeting them. You are, they associate themselves with any of the, of anything else big in the water. So big, big structures, they do orientate around, but mainly around stuff like manta rays, um, dugongs, manatees, those kind of things, they, and, and big sharks. They're going to pod around with them and stay with them. Not mainly for security, but also to pick off any scraps that it's going to eat. So they, the, the shark will say eat something, little bits of food and they come off. Very similar to a remora, they're going to go and just pick off those little bits of food. They are actually feed mainly on crustaceans. They're meant to solely feed on crustaceans. So your crabs, especially swimming crabs, are going to be their main diet. That's pretty much all they eat. And that's probably why their meat tastes so good. They are. They also eat swimming prawns, and they will eat uh, crayfish as well. Predominant crustacean feeders, so that's why it makes them very difficult to target. Is they're not hunting and chasing down fish. Now that doesn't mean they don't eat fish. They most certainly do. I've caught them on sardines, so they are definitely targetable. Um, your main time of year that you're going to catch them. We have had a few reports right now this year of actually of them being caught, but. Your, your main time is actually winter now. They follow the sardine run up and they, they're they going to be able to be caught much easier as they're coming up now with the, with the sardines. Because they're going to be feeding on sardines, they, they're much easier to catch. They associate with coral reefs, rocky reefs, that kind of structure. They're more of a reef-based fish. Um, they like warm, clear water. They're not a dirty water predator. They don't like cold water. Nice, warm, tropical, clear water. That's, that's, that's where they want to be. They are extremely hard fighters. If you do manage to take, you take a swimming crab, pin it, and throw it near something like a, a, a bigger predator, they are going to come in and smash that. They are very, very hard fighters. They're extremely strong, a lot of muscle, so they're going to take a lot of string on you. Um, from the shore, yeah, they're often confused, as we said, for sharks. So that hard fighting, that head nodding is very, very similar. They are often heavily parasitized by nematode worms. So their stomachs, in probably 99% of them, will be full of little nematode worms, which is extremely off-putting if you do open it. But they, if you cook the meat properly, you really don't have anything to worry about. They are gonna, 
um, once you remove that stomach they're not in the, the flesh itself so if you do find the worms it's similar to the cob but you get in estuaries you don't really have to worry as long as you cook the meat properly all those worms are going to die anyway um, they're very very tasty fish as we mentioned you can cook them in a many many different ways uh, they are an interesting fact about them is they produce a very large amount of eggs for their size so large amount of eggs means more chance of uh, big sporting numbers and, and higher success rates when it comes to later down the line but yeah it's a species that not many people can put their hand up saying that they are caught especially here in South Africa they are heavily speared by spear fishermen because it's, it's very easy to spear them I mean you find a big shark or big whale or something like that you're gonna find a few prodigal hanging around them and you can just pot them off underneath uh, yeah, as you mentioned, the little spines just behind, behind the head but before the dorsal um, are very, very sharp, so just keep, keep aware of that. And yeah, put this on your list, it's, it's definitely a species worth targeting. If you do catch them, consider letting them go, but uh, they're not very rare, so don't, don't feel bad to keep one or two. Um, and yeah, very, very firm flesh, very nice to eat. And yeah, that's the prodigal son, guys. Cheers.